nine a 2009 Escalade hybrid I am replacing the oil pressure sensor I guess on the Escalade any model I guess the oil pressure sensor goes bad I'm gonna show you the uh, old one that I took out and the setup that I used to take it out so let's come over to this table I have a socket right here it's an inch and 116 socket it's a half inch dry so what I use is a reducer from half inch dry to a 38 dry right there I have it on there and then I use a swivel head I use two of them Here's one swivel head. Put it on there. It's all 38. And then I use an extension. I think this is a four inch extension. And then I use another swivel head right there. So you can use any swivel head as long as it swivel. <laughs> you can use to this swivel head it doesn't have to be the you know the, the exact same but as long as the swivel head and then I have a pick right here I'm gonna tell you what the pick is for and then I have a fuel line uh, disconnect to right here this one right here you have to disconnect the fuel line because it's kind of in the way if you, if you have a big hand it's really gonna be in the way I have a small hand so but it's still hard to get to the back of it and then I use my ratchet right here three dry ratchet and I have the old one taken out they have a special tools for this but I have the special tool but when I put it in it doesn't fit exactly right the one the uh, inch and 116 socket fit perfectly so as you can see inside there's oil inside the oil come through I guess the seal and when it do it makes it go bad and you won't get it correct reading on your oil pressure so let's go over here and I'll show you what I took off. Okay, so I'm sorry for doing it at night. I just got home from work and this is for my customer. Let me position the light. Okay. You have uh, vacuum hoses right here. One is right here. This one. And it's got this white locking tab. Just push down and push back to disconnect it. And then you got the PCV uh, lines right here. And it's got this locking tab right here. Just push back and then pull it. And then just move it out of the way. And then you have a fuel line, which is right there. And it's connect to right there. That's when this tool come in. Yeah, this it's kinda hard to do with one hand. But let me position the light. Okay. So then you use this tool right here, this fuel line disconnect tool. This is a special tool. You can get it from auto parts store. They should have it. And you slide it over right there, the fuel line. And the other end goes into that right there. And it pushes the tap inside, spread it apart. Then you can push the fuel line out. Uh, don't worry about the fuel line spraying in your face because the fuel will spray 
to the back of the engine because there's still fuel pressure but it's not much so when you're done just hose it off with some with water and the sensor is gonna be back here it's kind of hard to see because it have a plastic cover right here is the plastic cover position the light okay this is the plastic cover right here I don't know what it's there for it's got a little form right there but it will be right below that right below it it's kind of hard to see it will be right below this uh, cover right here I'm going to show you the wide connector that goes to it. Hold on a second. I'm going to light. Okay. Alright. Let's see if I can... See that? This is the connector right here. That's the connector, blue color on the inside, and then <clears throat> it's kind of hard. It's a very tight place, but yeah. And then you have to squeeze this tab right here, <clears throat> so it unlock from the uh, sensor, but. In order to do that, you have to use a pick because it have a locking tab, which is gray in color. And I just get the pick and go behind it and place it on top of the gray cap, uh, locking uh, locking tab, the gray color, and pull it up. When I pull it up, then you can push that tab in to unlock it from the sensor but what I did I just pulled the whole safety tab off and it fell somewhere but you don't really need that locking tab it's just it's just uh, extra safety to keep that uh, the connector in there but it's it's gonna lock anyway once you put it in there so it's up to you if you want to put it back in but I'm not going to put it back in because it fell in. I don't know where it's at. And it's very tight place to get to. You don't have to take the intake off like some people does. If you take this to the dealership, that's what I, they're going to do. And then they're going to end up charging you maybe a couple hundred dollars to change the sensor. It took me about 30, 40 minutes trying to get it out. But... Uh, yeah, the uh, engine 116 socket worked really well. You don't need to get the uh, special tool for it. Just grab the, uh, the engine 116 socket and the setup like this. Two swivel and I got it broke loose. So I hope this helped and just take your time doing it. Thank you for watching.